morning. Welcome to Sport Yoga. Today we're doing our 10 minutes a day um, workout. So we're gonna start with our warm up. I'm gonna show you throughout the workout, um, beginner, intermediate, and advanced. We're doing one set of 10 of each. And I'm gonna just modify it through for you, which that's kind of what I like about this. Doing this workout is modifying it, starting warming up the body and then adding uh, different movement patterns and different neuro neuromuscular calls in different challenges on your brain and your body um, while you're in the middle of doing it, which is what happens when we're performing in life and sports, right? So we're gonna start sidesteps our warm up. I'm gonna start out to the side. Um, I don't mirror, I say right. So I'm stepping out with my right. It's a sidestep, it's a good squat. Your knees are aligned, butt is back, breathe in, breathe out. Come in, push yourself up, reach overhead, come back, squat out to the other side, breathe. Two, come up, all right? So it's down and two, come up and two, breathe out and squeeze. When you come up, you can squeeze your butt, you can squeeze your groin. Now I'm gonna add a touch and up and breathe and a little more speed, all right? Try and pick a song you like, and it could go to the inside or the outside. So when we're doing side steps and those kind of things, a set of 10, now come up and add your arms up, right? So it's up, down, up, down. When we're doing this kind of um, movement, one set of 10 is 10 each side. So the next three, your heart rate's up, you're breathing hard, you're gonna add down, Jump, down, jump, breathe, 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 up. Right, so you come in, jump, switch, up, up. Nice, there. So, these, awesome, I'm there, I'm ready. I'm gonna go right to my series one, which is standing abs. So start, your legs a little wider. So it's bicycle on the ground, only you're doing it standing up. So it's a reach, crunch, opposite elbow. Reach, crunch, hold, breathe. Four, five. Now I'm gonna add, make it a little bit bigger. I'm gonna rotate towards my leg and away. Breathe, two. Now next modification, this is intermediate, that rotation. When I come out, I'm not gonna put my foot down. Breathe, three, two, one. And the switch is just that and go now to the other side. So my right side, my left, my right. Start wherever you want, wherever your body's ready. I'm ready in the intermediate with the rotation. But now I'm gonna crunch, extend, breathe. Crunch, extend, breathe. See how that one more, nice. Good, that got my heart rate up. <sighs> Do a flat back forward, reach around behind. Right, when you go flat back forward, it's flat. Breathe, reaching out, and reaching behind. Just rub down the back of your hamstrings. You'll feel where you're tight, look ahead, bend your knees. Breathe, get your belly to your thigh. Fingertips forward, arms extended. Breathe in, come back up. So let's talk about breathing. We're gonna do a crescent lunge series. Try this, put your hands on your belly, breathe out, go. Hard as you can. When you do that, squeeze all your abs. Engage your abs in your core. Do it again. Don't worry about the breathing in. Your body automatically releases and allows air into the lungs. Okay, that's a good way. Catch your breath without even realizing. All right, so the crescent lunge, we're gonna do, again, one set of 10 each side, right? So we did side steps, rotation. Now we're gonna work in this plane. So crescent lunge, just step back, right? Hips, shoulders, face forward, knee, look down. Make sure you can see your whole foot, right? That means my knee isn't past. It, I, you know, I know sometimes we're gonna wobble, and we do in life, but try to just keep that alignment. That really makes you use your glute medius. I want you using your glute medius. Don't want you using your toes. So crescent lunge, your arms are up. Breathe, right? Come down. 
down, reach, one, swing, straighten your front leg, breathe, come down, reach, breathe. This is my crescent lunge, this is how I start. I come here, nice, breathe, swing the arms around. If you're struggling with balance, just crescent lunge, here, crescent lunge, breathe, nice. I'm gonna do two more, I'm making you hold it, throwing a little strength in here on this one, okay? Or it's up, here, up, bend, nice. Come out of it, you come to crescent lunge, you bring your hands around and through, step up, breathe out, step back to the other side, crescent lunge, fix your alignment. I'm the teacher, I always have to. I'm gonna show you this way, actually. We're on the second leg, so here's crescent lunge. Breathe, and what I've been having you do is this. Crescent lunge, and down, crescent lunge, come down. This is five. Now I just want you to add this. It's called anterior reach, and back. Crescent lunge, you drop. Now notice what happens. I'm dropping my hip and my torso. My head, my hip, and my heel are all in one line. I'm not bending at the waist. Whew, that's hard to balance. And then it's come back up. Here, I'm gonna keep that front foot forward. I'm sorry if I'm struggling, I'm the coach. You can reach around behind, breathe. Come back, this is a great warm up on your hip flexors. Breathe, one more. Crescent lunge, anterior. Come back, step up, breathe, nice. That was awesome, thank you. So let's just add a little bit of a upper body stretch now, okay? Reach your hand around behind you, make a fist. Lift, lengthen, align your head, your shoulders, your hips, your heels, back against the wall. Breathe. What I want you to concentrate on is getting your arms straight and relaxed. Your shoulders, they literally rotate. The blades move together. Breathe. Get your arms straight. The next level is to bring the palm of your hands together. Still maintaining, not, you know, not losing the integrity of that alignment. Breathe out. Nice and good. Look left and look right. Count from your legs for a second, okay? And then now move your hands to the left as you drop your head to the right and let your hip move to the left. So the hands and the hip go together. Now it's the right. Your head stays in line with your spine. I'll show you. Breathe. So I move my hands to the left, my hip to the left. I don't hook my neck, I keep looking. It's an awesome hip stretch. Right in through here. You can really make this big, but we don't, we don't have to today, okay? The good thing about sport yoga is pretty much each pose is built upon the next. So breathe in and breathe out. So you can take that and do so much with it. Now let's do a plank, all right? We're still in the warm up phase of the workout. Now we're working into the core and we're gonna add weights next. So your plank, step back to a plank. All right, what you can do is you can hold plank. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, we're gonna hold it 10 seconds, 20 seconds, 30 seconds. Or you can add movement and I'll show you. Watch, I'm gonna walk in a circle. Step, circle. Nice. And then if you do that, reverse it. You have to maintain the integrity of the plank. Notice my butt's not coming in the air. I'm not hooking my neck. Okay, that's the modification. Nice. Now I'm gonna walk in. One, two, three, and breathe up. Wow, that felt good. So I'm gonna do a weight set. Immediately after that, I'm gonna go back on the ground to a plank. Then I'm gonna do the next weight, plank. Next weight, plank. Final weight, plank. All right. I'm gonna do hip extensions, hip swings, hip check. And I'm also gonna do a clean, a full body clean. I'm gonna do one set of 10 of each of those, all right? I may or may not, I probably won't add uh, weight. I mean, I won't add modifications. The way I modify that is with weight. Um, yesterday I did some working out, some body weight and working out and I used 20 pounds. So I'm a little sore today. I was like, wow, why am I so sore? So I'm gonna use red size eight, I mean, uh, we had eight pounds. So 
I'm gonna go sideways, show you, and then I'm gonna um, do a couple facing just so that you can see, all right? So a hip extension, you're literally extending the hip. Um, your legs, you hold the weights by your side, your arms stay engaged the whole entire time. Perfect posture. Only use weights that you can do this, that you can bend and hold the weights like this. That's hard, 20 pounds it was hard for me doing this. Um, and then what you do is you're gonna swing hip. You're gonna punch it with your body. It swings and swings back. Your body is flat back. The legs are straighter than you think. It's not a squat, all right? It's a hip. Now me, I'm gonna add this overhead. Notice, I'm not doing that. That's gonna hurt your back, all right? It's momentum. It stalls, you punch it, you start it, you stop. And then you let it go. Start it, stop. Let it go and stop. That right there, you're gonna squeeze every muscle to stop it, squeeze every muscle to start it, and squeeze every muscle to stop it again, all right? Three more. One, and I'm gonna switch to you. And breathe, hip extensions. Do this slow. Do it without weights the first time. Watch yourself in a mirror, okay? The next one we're gonna do is a hip swing. You can double your weight or you can just use one. I'm just gonna use one. The swing is the same motion, only our legs are wide and the weight comes in here. Now the weight is right up in my crotch. I know that's weird, but what we're trying to do is really um, activate our core muscles, build explosive power, teach us how to stop, how to turn, how to get up. Plus it rips your abs and gets rid of fat. All right, it's a great body uh, fat burner. So. The weight comes right here, your arms are at full extension. Perfect posture and bend over, right? So here you can have a little bit of a knee. Bend as much as you need. I'd rather see you have more knee than over hyperextension, all right? Because that's how you get hurt. So you're looking ahead, your arm is loose, right? And you're gonna hip it, you hip it, you swing, but let it go back. It's the same thing, only it's in the front. So if you have kettlebells, you can do this even a little better, but um, when I do this workout, I just use my dumbbells because I was, didn't really want to have a hundred different tools hanging around. So notice, your feet might want to rock, don't let it happen. You might find yourself squatting. It's a totally different workout. It's not, it's body, it's not a core. That's a, that's a knee dominant, all right? That's a knee dominant workout. We do do that here. It's a swing and lift. Okay, awesome, beautiful. Right, hip swing. Now we're gonna do a hip check. I suggest every person who does any kind of activity, who wants defined abs, who wants a strong back, strong body, do hip check. I'm gonna show it to you without any weights. And actually let's do it without any weights. So do that breath out, remember? Out. There you go. See how quickly you can recover your breathing? So yeah, I'm drinking water. All right, good. Whew, how are you doing? Good? I'm good. All right, hip check. So I had a spasm in my back and I had figured it, it ended up being my QL was inflamed and my alignment was off. I had a number of things going on, um, but this is what saved me. I discovered it by accident at a Perform Better Summit. I walked in to this um, class. I wasn't even gonna go, it just happened. So here, let's start doing this. You're gonna bend one knee, keep the other straight. Right? And it's you sticking your butt back, all right? It's a hinge. We're not doing a sideways thing, okay? We're not going like this. We're going, see? Notice how my torso follows. So whatever leg is in front, the same hand reaches down to the knee or to the foot, right? I use my, so it's my right arm, my right leg. I'm gonna use my elbow to keep that knee open because the knee likes to roll in sometimes. And a lot of us have underactive glute medius, and that's one of the reasons. So you've got to really make the 
that foot stay open and aligned. Make it so that the big toe, you can reach your fingers down on the inside of the big toe. Just use your elbow to push that knee open a little bit. Your foot might feel weird because you don't use it. You know, you probably, you could walk on the inside of your foot and squeeze with your big toe. There's so many things that we do. So now add the upper arm. Make sure that it's coming straight down through that lower knee, the lower leg. See my alignment? Yeah. See, that's not aligned. That is. Then you're gonna come up and go right to the other side. Immediately rotate, reach, breathe. Arm above you, look up. Nice. Now, if you feel comfortable and you wanna go deeper, you can take the arm to the outside of the foot as long as it's staying aligned. You can stay on the end. You can next add a bind. Open. When you bind, you bring the back of your hand to the back of your back and you're just gonna reach around, try to grab the thigh with your hand, the inside of the hand. It's all the rotation of the torso. So I'm gonna show you the sideways, all right? So it's bend, reach, extend, look up. Nice, then you can come right up, breathe, and go right to the other side. This is one of my go-to stretches. Most of my clients love this. Breathe, see my alignment, my head is in line with my hips. My spine is in line. My arms are in line, straight lines, breathe. Come up. So I'll show you with weight real quick. I'm only gonna do a couple. Start here, I'll go sideways to get the best. I'm gonna go to the right. Nice, slow, okay? Modified windmill, modified kettlebell windmill. They have a different foot stance when they do it. So, just because I want to throw in a little bit of this upper body stability, we're going to add something called bent over rows, okay? But it's going to be under a row like this, where you're pulling the lawnmower, okay? So you get to a flat back to where you're the most comfortable. Your knees can be bent. I want you to be in the position that if I went and I hit you, you wouldn't fall easily. So some people, um, you know, some people are gonna to wanna to be a little lower. Me, I like this angulation. My butt is active, my knees are open. So I'm gonna do bent over rows. I pull back and I pull the weights right literally to my lats. And down, two, three. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Your shoulders aren't earrings, they don't come up. Really exaggerate, squeeze, pull, down. Squeeze, pull, down. Squeeze, pull. This is really good for those of us who have bad shoulders, all right? Hurt shoulders. It just works a different part, especially if we all shrug. Whew, nice. All right, very good. I'm gonna put those weights down, okay? Whew, so we're gonna breathe in, breathe out. Let's do that plank. Walk about one more time, all right? I didn't do it between the weights. I did it after all of them. You can do it between. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. That's another thing about this workout. You can do it anywhere. Eight, nine, and 10. Now switch. Don't let it be in your neck. It's in my neck right now. I'm just gonna really make it create. Keep your fingertips forward. Use your hands. Squeeze the mat, especially if you ever want to do handstands. Ah. Oh, that was a workout. And breathe. Good. Oh, so being a cobra, shoulders back and down. Look left, come back, look right. Let your body move a little. Notice my hips. How sinewy. Cobra. Cobra is very sinewy. Breathe, breathe, go up, nice, down, push back, child pose, and breathe, up, nice, gorgeous, All right, so just to end it off with our abs, let's do a side 
plank ab, all right? So, side plank. I'm gonna keep this knee down for right now, all right? And I'm gonna crunch and open. Crunch, open. So three, four, five, six. I'm gonna add something, I'm gonna go in, out, in, out, so seven, eight. All right, so that's the addition. Now watch on here, I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna go all the way around and come back. This is just an add on. If that's hard, you can stay here or here. And then come back and breathe, come around, all right? So the same thing can be going in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in. Kick back, kick, and open. Foot is engaged, feel that ab lift. And 10, play with it. I feel this pat isn't doing as much as I want. So you can come a little more forward. You can play with this plank, I'm sorry. I didn't really talk you through too much of it. We get a nice stretch. Nice. Woo! Awesome child pose. Oh. Come forward again, Cobra. I feel like the side this time, right? So the hip, the quads are on the ground. Your hips are up a little bit because I want you to get length from the belly button. Not your shoulders, shoulders are back and down, and you can drop down into your abs. Nice. Come back, child pose. Right. And then you're gonna come here, roll back. Namaste. Breathe. There you go. Thank you. That's a quick workout. Head to toe, cardio, yoga, mobility, and strength. Thank you for joining me.